So um, we did our <coughs> straight angles and full angles. We actually did all the angles and all the lines stuff at the start. We then did um, vertically opposite angles, alternate angles, and corresponding angles. So on Thursday or Friday, whatever day you got this, uh, we also talked about the three types of triangles. Um, I I don't know if it's classed as a type, but I suppose you kind of do name it, and it isn't here. So I'm gonna just say it to you. Let me thought about this after. Um, let's get a pen. That one up to brush. So if you have, sorry, that's not in any way straight. Where did that go? Insert a straight line. Okay. Um, okay, if you have a triangle with a right angle in it, okay, so it would normally be like this, and then they'd put in a little box in the corner. We generally do refer to that as a right angled triangle. Okay, don't know if it's a name or just sort of stating a fact about it, but that anyway, that's normally what we call it. I wouldn't say there are four types, there's still just the three, but just to mention this, uh, so maybe just add it into your notes from the other day. Okay, so as promised, we're gonna do three theorems today. Um so the first one. Uh, which I think is Theorem 4. I need to change the titles on these theorems. So annoying. So this one then becomes Theorem 5 and Theorem 6. Okay, so 4, 5 and 6. So Theorem 4 is in an isosceles triangle, and if you remember an isosceles is one where you have two sides the same and two angles the same. The angles opposite the equal sides are equal in measure. Okay, so I talked about that briefly the other day, but wherever your two equal sides are, the opposite angles are also equal. Okay, so no matter what way you rotate the triangle, if you draw an arrow from your from one equal side to the opposite angle, and from the other equal side to the opposite angle, those angles are equal. Okay, so in an isosceles triangle, the angles opposite the equal sides are equal in measure. Uh, theorem number five here are the angles in a triangle. The angles in a triangle add up to 180. So every triangle will have three angles because it has three corners or vertices. And the three corners must add up to 180 degrees. Okay, that's theorem five. And then theorem six is the exterior angle theorem, okay? So exterior, hopefully you understand, like the exterior of your house is the outside, okay? So <clears throat> theorems down here, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles, right? It sounds super complicated, it's really not. Um, so first thing is the sum, if you remember, is addition, it's another word for addition, and then we're going to talk about interior opposites, okay? So if you have a triangle, these are the interior angles, because they're inside the triangle, right? Now if I extend the baseline a little bit, I create an exterior angle, okay, from the outside of the triangle. And what the theorem says is that the exterior angle is equal to the addition of the interior opposite angles, okay? So not this one, because that's right beside it. It's the ones that are opposite to it. So you would take this one and add it to this one, okay? This one would be considered adjacent to it or beside it. It's not opposite, okay? So the exterior angle is equal to the interior angles opposite to it added together. So let's try another one. So if I take my triangle 
and a highlight. Let's actually use numbers just for simplicity. Go back there. So if I call this one, two, and three. Now you can put your extension your anywhere. So I'll extend on this side now and create my exterior angle, which we'll call B. So B is the exterior angle and it's equal to the sum of the interior opposites. So two is not opposite, it's adjacent. So it wouldn't be that one. You would be doing one plus three. So we would be able to say that angle B is the same as adding together angle one and angle three. Does that make sense? So that's what this theorem is. If you look here, they have an exterior. This angle is not part of it because it's not opposite to one. It's adjacent to one. It's right beside it. So the exterior angle, angle one, is equal to the opposite interior angles, two and three, added together. Okay? Now it's one of these, the exterior angle theorem is one of those theorems that you can get around, as in you can use other tools, so it isn't actually used hugely often, but you do need to know it. Okay, so there you go. Four, the angles opposite, the equal sides in an isosceles triangle are equal. Theorem five, the three angles of a triangle must add up to 180. And theorem six, the exterior angle, the angle on the outside, has to equal the two interior opposite angles. So you eliminate the one directly beside it and it's the other two added together. Okay, so we look at a couple of questions. Uh, so here we go, find angle A. So what we have here are three angles in a triangle. And we know that the three angles in a triangle have to equal 180. So if we add together 70 and 50, we get 120. They all have to add up to 180, so if I minus the 120 from 180, I get 60. So the size of angle A is 60 degrees, because 60 plus 50 plus 70 makes 180 degrees. And that's what the three angles have to add up to, because that's what Theorem 5 said. Okay, so let's have a look here. Now, find the measure of angle a, B, C. Okay, so we'll just figure out what that is first. So start at A, go to B, go to C. So it's this angle here. Remember the one you're concentrating on is the bit in the middle. Everyone happy? I'm going to remove that. So we are looking for angle B, this one here. Yeah? Now, if you notice, we have an isosceles triangle noted by these two lines. So if I start at the line and I draw an arrow to the opposite angle and start on my little line and draw an arrow to the opposite angle, I know that those two are equal. Yeah? So I know that angle C is equal to 40 degrees because of the isosceles triangle theorem. Is that okay? I know that the, side, the angles opposite the equal sides are equal in measure. Okay, so now I know that this is 40 and this is 40 and I'm trying to find this. And if you notice, they're the three angles of a triangle. So if I add 40 and 40, I get 80. And I know that the three angles have to add up to 180. So if I minus 80 from that, I get 100. So angle A, B, C is equal to 100 degrees and I use the three angles and the triangles here. Is that okay? And then the last one, without measuring C, find C without measuring the angle, okay? Now the triangle or yeah, the triangle at the bottom has been extended, which means C is an exterior angle. So we're going to be looking at that theorem, where the exterior angle is equal to the addition or the sum of the interior opposites. So it's not marked, but if it were, we would ignore this angle because it's not opposite, it's um, adjacent. 
So it's going to be the other two added together, which is 80 plus 50. So angle C is 130 degrees. And I knew that because I used the exterior angle there. Okay, so it, it's, it would have been very hard for me to teach one without the rest because they sort of you can see from that middle one there's a lot of overlap between them like a lot of this third one a lot of the time they would then ask you for this missing one and you'd use your three angles of a triangle equal 180 to figure it out okay so they're just so interlinked it was easier to do them together um so take down the notes on the three theorems uh obviously the examples and then i gave you some work um to do for Wednesday um, and then I, I look ahead and see what's next and see is it worth doing another theorem for Wednesday and then that'll be it so I won't be teaching you anything beyond Wednesday and if the next theorem like today if the next theorem requires me to teach like three or something I won't I won't do it okay so we'll uh, you've got six now which is good um, I can't remember how many are in those first couple of chapters, but I know a lot of them are reserved for second and third year, like you don't even learn them till then. So I think we're supposed to have, there's 22 in total, but that's leaving sort of higher levels. So I think you're supposed to have maybe 16 or 17 at juniors are like, um, but you learn them over the three years, not all in one year. Okay, so we're doing well. We're doing really, really well. So let me know if there's any issues.